Hey y'all, it's your girl Erica. I just popped in for a quick video. This video is going to be a medical video. For those of you who don't know, I am a full-time family nurse practitioner. I am also a certified life coach. Today we're going to talk about cervical cancer screening. That's what January was for. Next month, February will be uh, heart disease. Ladies, this video is targeted towards you. Cervical cancer screening is very, very important. According to the ACOG, which is the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, starting at the age of 21 to 29, all females should get pap smears every three years if they're normal. If they're abnormal, you may qualify to get one every six months or every year. It just depends on what your pap smear shows. Uh, new guidelines starting at the age of 30 to 65, you can get just the HPV testing every five years. You can get a coat testing where you get a pap and an HPV testing every five years, or you can still do the uh, pap smear every three years. After the age of 65, ladies, you do not have to get a pap smear if you've had negative cancer screenings um, and all your paps have been normal. Now, if you've had some abnormal paps, you need to speak with your healthcare provider. I get this question all the time. If I've got a hysterectomy, do I still need to get uh, screening done? That depends. If you uh, got your hysterectomy for you know fibroid cycles, you don't have to get screening. But if you got your hysterectomy and you have had a history of uh, precancerous cells, high grade uh, cells, uh, anything related cancer-wise, we still do recommend that you get screening, okay, ladies? These recommendations come from ACOG. You can also pull these guidelines up yourself. Um, HPV is what I was talking about when you get tested for a pap. HPV is human papillomavirus. It can cause cervical cancer. That's why it's very important to get your screening, ladies. Also, HPV, um, it can clear itself of your body. Your body can clear itself of HPV. Um, there is a vaccine for HPV. You can start it at the age of nine with your kids. The CDC recommends starting at the age of 11 or 12, okay? Uh, ending at the age of 26. Speak with your healthcare provider if you're older than 26 and you feel as if you qualify for the HPV vaccine. You and your healthcare provider can make that decision. Yes, boys should get HPV vaccines as well. Ladies, take your health serious. Go to the doctors, get your female exams. Also, ladies, I'm going to throw this in and we're done. Make sure you're doing your monthly breast exams at home. You know your body best. 40% of breast cancer is found by the patient, not the healthcare provider. So if you feel anything abnormal, any lumps, always, always follow up with your healthcare provider. Again, these guidelines are from the ACOG. I am Erica James, a full-time family nurse practitioner, but always, always speak with your personal healthcare provider to determine which option is best for you. I pray y'all have a blessed and awesome day. Love y'all.